Uh, here's a few small things we discovered with these microphones. So I want to talk about this briefly. So with the microphones selecting, we have radio frequency levels and audio frequency levels. So far, it's we have a pretty good uh, reception. The only problem is that I find out, for example, I have a loud voice, fairly loud voice. If I'm talking loud, so what happens, we have clipping here. If we have a loud singer, a singer we can have severe, uh, some severe distortions in this case. So these microphones, actually, so far, we couldn't find any adjustments of the gain in the microphone. So we use some old methods which with include using a couple of pliers and uh, screwdrivers so I'm going to show you how we've done that. Okay here's a few things that we try to do to actually lower down the gain. So easy solution, fairly easy solution if you know how to use a screwdriver, a couple of picks and this is it. So, and a little bit of your head. So, <coughs> there is a couple of screws over here were on the back which were removed. Then you can remove the cartridge. Okay, I already removed this snap ring which was here inside. So, when I have to remove all of the snap ring and these two screws uh, the battery cartridge could be removed too and the whole thing slides out. So in this case not a lot of adjustments. You ha we have a few little chips here and there. Uh, the problem is that the menu does not provide us with the option of adjustment the gain, adjusting the gain on the microphone. At least I didn't, sh I didn't find one. So I found one little resistor over here. It's really small. This one could be adjusted. As far as I understand, it looks like it does adjust the gain. We experiment with the uh, receiver and transmitters, trying to work with them together, and they do adjust. The only thing is that the meters, the meters on the receiver appears to me like they're a little bit lying when you actually, because when you, when I was screaming in the microphone, you don't want to hear that, but the levels was still showing fairly good, but we didn't have any distortions. So uh, when you try to do it, make sure that you know how to use the screwdriver, make sure you know how to use plies, and you make sure you know how to use your head too. So when uh, you're adjusting this, probably the indicator on the receiver wouldn't be the best reference. But another thing, make sure you're not going too far low because you have the significantly reduced signal-to-noise ratio. So they become quite hissy if you're going to make it down. So, so far, we adjusted this a little bit down comparing to comparatively to where the setting was and gonna plug it back in assemble the whole thing unfortunately I cannot do it with the digital adjustments which provide us from the panel maybe I have to screw the hole in the body